Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. Today, let's take a look at creating a spry collapsible panel. Now, this is basically what it does. You click it and it uh, drops down. You click it again and you got it. It collapses. Now, we have a couple images happening here. Um, we're going to take a look at how to style this using CSS as well. So that's basically what we're going to do. Now, Dreamweaver comes with some very cool spry widgets, the newer versions of Dreamweaver. I think, I believe, if I recall correctly off the top of my head, uh, Dreamweaver CS3 was the first with spry widgets. Um, again, correct me if I'm wrong, um, but I believe it was CS3 that was the first to have spry widgets, um, and CS4 has even more. Um, and they're really, really cool. They're easy to just drop into a site. It's usually as simple as clicking a button. Uh, you know, sometimes you have to set up a couple other things. Um, but it's really, really easy to just drop them in and create some pretty cool effects that at least make it look like you took a bit more time uh, than you actually did. So we're going to hop over here to Dreamweaver. And what we're going to do is create a new uh, document. I'm just going to right click on this folder, the site folder. Right click and just hit New File. And we're going to say Spry COL for a like collapsible panel, just call.html, spry call.html. Double click to open that guy up. Here in design view, we have nothing. I'm going to throw a title in there, spry panel. And I'm going to save it. And there we go. We have this nice file saved right over here in our files panel. Before we do anything here in Dreamweaver, I just want to drag my three images in. And these can be three images. You know, you just want one for your bottom corner and a couple for the top. Um, and if I remember, I will uh, attach a link to these files in the description of the video. Um, otherwise, you just want basically you know a couple files for the top, a rollover file, and just the file it's going to show up, and then a little rounded edge for the bottom, which is kind of a you know do it if you want kind of thing. Not really something that needs to be done. So we're going to drag these here into the files panel. You can see one, two, three. The images show up there. So what I need to do now is go ahead and insert a spry collapsible panel. That requires you go to the spry tab here up in the top area and right here is spry collapsible panel. There is however also insert spry and then right here off screen, a little ways off screen we have spry collapsible panel. Um, you can see all the different spry this, spry that, spry, 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 boy I wish I was spry. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and select this icon to insert our spry collapsible panel. And this is what it looks like. There's absolutely no content in it except for a word that says content and a little bit of text at the top that says, hey, this is your tab. Uh, but really, it doesn't have a set width. There's nothing special about it at all. We're going to change that. You can see here this copy dependent files dialog box appears when you go to save the document. I just hit control S. Um, and basically you're just going to hit OK. It's just telling you, look, you're using an object that requires supporting files. Uh, the following files have been copied to your local site, yada, yada, yada. You must upload them to your server uh, for this to function correctly. Hit OK. We just have a JavaScript file and the CSS file. Actually, that CSS file is what we're going to be editing to edit the look of this uh, collapsible panel. So hit OK. And uh, we are going to be good to go. Uh, what I want to go ahead and do, oh, you can see over here, a folder just appeared, Spry Assets, that has our CSS and JavaScript files. Uh, what I want to go ahead and do is paste some content into here. So I'm going to go grab some Lipsum. I'm going to grab one paragraph of it here. And I'm going to highlight the word content. Oh, just the word content. And I'm going to paste it into there. And I'm going to hit Enter or Return. And you know what? I'll paste a second paragraph in as well. Why not? There we go. Two paragraphs. And I'm also going to uh, drag a couple images in here in uh, the bridge. Whoop, I just moved it. I also have these two thumbnail images. I'm going to drag them both in. There we go. Tooth and Threeth. It actually is two thumbnail, number three thumbnail. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to drag Tooth up here. Drop him right in there. We're not going to give it alternate text for the sake of saving time. And then three, we're going to place uh, all the way at the bottom, actually. So hit OK. And uh, there we go. What we're going to do is we're going to select this guy and open up the Properties panel. And I actually want to align him, drag the Properties panel out of its normal resting place. With the image selected here, I'm going to set Align to Left. You can see it pulls it right next to all the text there. And then this guy down here, I'm just going to go Align Right. And you can see... He's now basically dropping out of the bottom of our collapsible panel. Let me move my properties panel back down here and collapse it. This image is now moving out of the bottom of our collapsible panel. Don't worry about that. We're going to fix it uh, later on. 
uh, but for now know that it is just setting over there. So it is now time to go ahead and start editing some CSS. What I want to do to keep things simple, we're going to work through the CSS styles panel and you may look at it and say, Phew, keep things simple, what are you talking about? Uh, this is actually pretty simple. They do a pretty good job of just, you know, organizing everything into one easy to figure out, you know, collapse panel tab. Well, that's going to be the tab area right here. So it even says tab. And then the content area, uh, links within the tab, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We're going to go through some of this stuff in just a moment. Uh, we're going to work with collapsible panel. That's it. Double click it to open it right up. And the first thing I want to do is go to the background section and give it a background color of pound 4F. 7 F A B hit tab and I'm gonna hit apply you can see it gives me a nice sort of bluish background uh, then what we want to do here is hop over here to border and we're going to uh, delete all of this stuff so I'm just gonna go delete delete and uh, delete right here uh, I'm just gonna do same for all delete and hit apply. That's going to get rid of any kind of borders, obviously. And after we do that, uh, let's hop back up to the box category. Now, here in the box category, we're going to set uh, the width of this overall box uh, to 300 pixels. We're going to hit apply. You can see there we go. We've downsized it. And I'm also going to give it a margin of two M's uh, on every side. So that would just be a matter of typing two, and we could just choose M right here from the drop down menu apply and there we go we've now pulled it away from the sides and this really makes a difference when you have there's text placed around this collapsible panel we don't really have that here so it's not as big a deal but we're gonna do it anyway uh, so I'm gonna hit OK the next thing we want to style is the collapsible panel tab so I'm gonna double click that what we're gonna do is we're gonna give this a, a nice font uh, let's go with uh, actually let's go simple Arial, and let's give it a font size of 18 pixels now one thing you can do here when setting any size in CSS uh, is just affix the unit of measure to your number. When I hit tab, you can see it automatically sets it to pixels. We're going to hit apply. It makes it a bit bigger. Um, it's a good idea to use M's when styling type. In this case, I'm going to break the rule and fix it at 18 pixels. Uh, we can set the font weight to bold. That's fine. We're going to choose a nice light gray, like so. Uh, I'm going to check to see if there's a border here. There is. Uh, we're going to get rid of that border. Apply. There we go. We've changed that. And then we're going to come up here to uh, background. And the background color, we're actually going to set it to none because we're going to have a background image, which is going to be our tab image. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to choose tab top. Hit OK. And then hit apply. There we go. We have that. We can't really see the whole thing though, so we're going to go back to type. I'm going to try setting a line height. I'm going to set a line height of, let's say, 3Ms. Let's try that. Hit apply. Uh, very nice. Uh, that's actually very good. Uh, the only thing I don't like about that is I can see a, another one of my background images coming through. So we're going to go background, and we're going to set background repeat to no repeat. Hit apply, and there we go. We now have our nice tab right up top, like so. Hit OK. Uh, the next thing we want to do is go ahead and place our rounded corner uh, down here at the bottom. Whether or not we want to do it on the bottom right or the bottom left, uh, let's go with the bottom left. Uh, so what I want to do is double click collapsible panel content. And you probably pretty well know the routine by now. We're going to go to the background category, choose background image, tab bottom, hit OK, and I'm going to hit apply. You can see that we get tons of these, not particularly what I want. So we're going to go background repeat, no repeat, hit apply. It looks like it's all gone away. There actually is one sitting way up near the top. So we need to change uh, background position along the X to left and background position along the Y to bottom. Hit apply, and there's our nice little rounded corner. Great. We can now hit OK. All right, well, we have three basic, easy things left to do. Oop, I somehow messed up my alignment. Let me just fix that real quick. We, uh, we've got three pretty basic, easy things left to do. Number one, we want to style this text here inside of the box. We want to fix our little image dropping issue down here. And we also want to set up our rollover up top. So we're going to start with styling the text. And now in order to style this text, we just want to create a new CSS style that's targeting this text right in here. Uh, so the way we're going to do that is just highlight some of the text and then up here in the CSS styles panel, right click on the CSS collapsible panel.css 
uh, thing right here, right click and go new and uh, come down here to compound and it should pretty much automatically target that. We can probably actually junk this right here at the beginning, collapsible panel one. Um, and there we go, hit OK. Uh, before you hit OK, actually make sure rule definition is happening in spry collapsible panel.css. Not this document only or new style sheet. We want to go with, the, with this spry collapsible panel.css, which is this file right up here. Hit OK. And let's just perform a quick test. I'm going to make the text bright green, hit apply. There we go. We have uh, successfully um, targeted that text. There we go. So, what do we want to do uh, with this text first? Well, let's go ahead and just choose a new font family. And just to match the header, we'll go with Arial. Apply. Okay, we've got some kind of change going on here. Uh, let's set a new size. Let's try 1M, see what that does for us. Um, and it's not really showing any change here, although I'm sure if we preview it in a browser, it'll show a change. You know, for the sake of staying plain and simple, even though, you know, technically it's not correct, we're going to try 12 pixels here. Uh, 12 pixels is about the size it was. Let's go. I just want it to be a little bit smaller. 11 pixels is perfect. Uh, we're not going to adjust line height, anything like that. What we will do, however, is make this a dark gray instead of black. Just going to kind of lighten it up a little bit. Uh, and you know what? Now that we've done that, that's probably good. Let's hop over to box. And we want to go ahead and set our margins. We want to set the top margin to 1M. Let's apply that. All right, you can see it moves a little closer. We want to set a right margin of 1M as well. And we're not going to keep hitting apply. We want to set a bottom margin of 2Ms and a, a slightly larger left margin. Let's go with 3Ms. Hit apply. And you can see what we've got here. Now, the reason I'm pulling it away from the bottom and the left, uh, we're going to get back to that in a second, is because of this rounded corner down here. I just want to make sure we're really off of that corner. All right, let's double click to open up that collapsible panel content uh, P uh, style right there. Back to box, we just want to add a little bit of padding as well. Let's throw, I don't know, two M's of padding onto the bottom. I believe it was one or two M's that I added uh, when I initially did this tutorial. There we go. Uh, and you can see we have a slight problem happening down there. Don't worry about that. If it, if it ends up being an issue later on, we'll just get rid of that extra padding. So we still have this problem here with this image sticking way out of the bottom. Uh, it is quite an issue. Uh, so here's how we're going to fix it. We're going to go ahead uh, into a code view and we're going to throw a style up at the top of this document. We have all of this stuff happening, just craziness going on. All you need to do is find your head tags. Open head tag, close head tag. I'm just going to create a class here uh, that is going to basically fix that problem for us. So make a couple extra lines in between your opening. Here's the closing head tag. So before that closing head tag, we want to type open bracket style space type equals open and close quotes. And in here, we're just going to type text slash CSS. Then move over and just place that closing angle bracket. Hit enter return a couple times and close up that style tag. Now here within these style tags, we're going to place our CSS. All we're going to do is make up a, a, a class. So we're going to put, type a period first. That's how you start your classes. We're going to say clear me with a capital M. Open curly bracket, close curly bracket. In the middle, we're just going to type clear colon both. If I can spell both, both and then semicolon. That's all we need to do. Go back to design and check it out. We still have a problem because there's one last thing we need to do. Yeah, we've created a class, but we need to attach that class to something. What we want to do is go back to code view and right here between the closing uh, paragraph, I almost said parenthesis tag, the closing paragraph tag and the image, we want to go ahead and create a little div. And if, if a div doesn't have anything in it, it just doesn't even really show up. It, it can just, you know, in this case, be a hook for our class. So I'm going to type open angle bracket and the word div. And then we're going to go space ID equals open and close quotes. Now in between these close, uh, I'm doing something totally wrong. We don't want an ID. We want to type class equals open and close quotes. And then in between here for the class, remember it was a class we created, type the class name, clear capital M E for clear me. And then a closed angle bracket. And then we need to close off the div tag. So uh, we need to create the closing div tag, excuse me, open angle bracket, and then just a, a forward slash like so. And it's going to close off your div. So right here, we have just placed a div tag, which is essentially clearing both left and right. Go back to design view and check it out. 
our image is now sealed here within our, our drop down menu. Very nice. So the last thing that we need to do is go ahead and take care of this rollover issue up top. Now if I can remember how I did this before with this particular image, that will be uh, a miracle. So let's see if I can uh, perform a miracle here. Alright, what I want to do is check out the Spry Collapsible Panel.css and you want to choose, it's the longest uh, thing in there. It's the longest style in there. It's this one here. A collapsible Panel Hover, Collapsible Panel Open, and Collapsible Panel Tab Hover. So I'm going to double click that and I want to move in here to background and I want to dump the background color so just choose the slash there and I want to grab a background image. Tab top RO, tab top rollover. Hit OK and I'm going to hit apply. One thing I do not want is I do not want this image to repeat so choose background repeat, no repeat and there was something else I needed to do. We're going to hit OK and check this out real quick. We're going to go, uh, where is it? Oh here we go preview in Firefox. It's going to tell me yeah, I got a couple of files I need to change, HTML, and then uh, the CSS file also, which is what it's basically prompting me to do. Yep, go ahead and do that. And uh, here we go. And you can see when I roll over, that little arrow that's in my image is showing up underneath the text. So I need to move that text over and you can check out what we got going on here. And that image is all the way down there. We might play around with a little bit of margin or padding, see if we can't fix that up. Uh, but for now, we're going to focus on this rollover. So I'm going to close this up, head back to Dreamweaver, and we need to go to Collapse, Collapsible Panel Tab, and go Border, and let's go Padding. Did I choose the right one here? Yeah, it's got to be Collapsible Panel. Uh, let's go Padding Left here. Oh, we have two pixels, that's why. Padding Left, and set that to like 50 pixels. Yeah, that moves the text over nicely. We're going to hit OK. And we're actually going to change this text to uh, Spry Panel. Exclamation point. Just to add a little bit of oomph to the end of that. All right, let's save that guy. Hit F12, which is the hotkey to preview in a browser. Here again, some files need to be saved. Yep, save them up. And here we go. And there you go. You can see that that, that uh, arrow does, in fact, show up. We can click and expand or click to contract our menu. Great. Uh, let's go ahead and just see if we can play around with this here. Uh, let's go to this uh, collapsible panel P and let's just add a little bit of padding to the bottom of it. Let's see if this helps us out. Let's go ahead with two M's. I'm going to hit apply um, and then hit OK. Um, I have a feeling that that's not going to work though and for good reason. I'm going to hit yes. We'll just check it out. But yeah, it didn't do anything. So let's go back to Dreamweaver, open that guy back up. It looks like we're going to need to uh, specifically target that image, which I, I don't have a problem doing. Or I actually have another idea. Let me get rid of this here. I believe I added, yeah, I added padding to that. Hit OK. And uh, let's save that up. Uh, what I want to do is just go ahead, I'm going to select, uh, well, actually, let's select content first and go into box. And then here in padding, let's go padding bottom, and let's just give it a 1M of padding along the bottom. Hit apply, and we really shouldn't see a change except for down here. Let's go F12, yep, save it up, let's check it out. And we now have a little bit of padding. Uh, so just a little bit of padding to the content area, uh, why it took me going through the, the paragraph thing to figure that out. Uh, don't ask me. So there we go, we've now created this collapsible panel. Uh, with you know the works with a rollover heading using some images editing the content editing the size the feel the look of our panel uh, we took our time doing it but we did a heck of a job we even fixed this little problem here with a little clear me class style uh, so that's it that is how you create the create and edit really that's that's where the learning comes in is the edit anyone can just create one of these by clicking the button but go ahead and edit it uh, and you've got a whole other story on your hands uh, so that's it for this one. I hope you learned a thing or two. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And go ahead and check out the website. That's www.tutvid.com for more great video tutorials and lots of other great stuff.